Welcome to Wine Chats with Bildo and Lindalyn. My name is Billy Milovanovic, aka Bildo. And my name is Lindsay Kirkwood, also known as Lindalyn. And this is an offensively funny podcast about drinking wine and chatting life. Hope you enjoy. Billy, is that you? Or is it AI? <gasps> I don't know. <gasps> AI terrifies me. <laughs> Like yes, the, it should. Right? The idea of it actually terrifies me. So, like, I'm stealing Lindsay's thunder here. Um, so that's away. what we're talking about today. We're talking about AI. We're going to have some, like, little uh, less known facts about AI. Give you some examples of AI in artificial intelligence. Um, in no, everyday artificial life. insemination. <laughs> well, you said it. I, I don't know where that's going, but I'm interested. You have my attention. <laughs> I'll lose it in a moment because we, you never listen to me longer than 30 seconds. It's true. Um, to get us through this riveting um, conversation, we're going to be tricky. Look at this itty bitty bottle. Um, it's a ceremony bottle I found amongst our wine chats wines. It's yeah. been hiding. It's so tiny. It's been hiding in there. Um, ceremony is a winery for those that don't know um, in Brisbane. Well, outside of Brisbane. Mount Cotton, I want to say. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I got that right because that could have been devastating. Go on. Wouldn't be the first time he said something. Oh, incorrect. 100%. <laughs> Nor will it be the last. <laughs> um, it's from Granite Belt. It's an NV. No idea what that is. Could have Googled it. Didn't. Could have what? Googled it. AI could have told us. AI? Didn't. Are you out there? What well, who is AI in your house, Lindsay? Don't you have hey, a Siri Google. or an Alexa? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Google. Yeah. Oh, she's oh, on. she's listening. What's an NV wine? Envy. No, it's, give, it's <laughs> talking about wine envy now. Okay. Hey, Google. Shut that's, up. That's, stop. Yep. Hey, Google, stop. Thank She's you, AI. So, um, anyways, look, it, it's a white wine. And, and it's I, bubbly. It, yeah, we, I'm a, a tad of, see, oh, it's sizzled, but it's white. It's sizzled? It's sizzled? No, not sizzled. Oh, no. Oh, no. It, it fizzed. It fizzed. <laughs> You sizzling, babe. I know. Okay. Oh, that is. You can do. Oh, <laughs> who needs that anyway? <laughs> honestly. Cute, Lenny. So, oh, yeah. Look, it's in the wrong wine glass, but that's fine. We're going to survive without. I'm going to pour you. Well, we're going to have to. Yeah. Do you mind? I'm not going to like. And then she gives herself a tiny amount. Yeah. Wow. Look, I, I, I'm not going to like this one. I'm not going to lie. So um, cheers to not being rude, though, because not every wine drinker needs to like every wine they drink. Okay, right? che- absolutely. Cheers to that. It looks too bubbly. Yeah, look at her face. <laughs> Billy. It's because of the bubbles. All right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Delicious. She's burping. No, no. Delicious. I'm sure it's a great wine. It's just not my For jam. For someone else. For someone else who yes. likes bubbles. Um, okay, okay, let's still. chat. Swine chats. We're drinking wine. Let's chat. Um, <laughs> AI. <laughs> God. How do you feel about it? Look, honestly, I'm. I feel like it's come out of nowhere and taken over the world. And okay, well, that's not accurate. But go on. No, but I. You asked me Your how feelings I are feel incorrect. about it. Your feelings are incorrect. Go on. <laughs> I feel like it just. It happened so quickly overnight that it is. It's literally taken over the world. Right. And like when it first came out, I'm like, oh yeah, AI. Okay, like. Some tech nerds are going to be using it. Some computer yeah. nerds. Like, it's not really going to affect my world. It, it uh, How does it not? How does it it's not? It's everywhere. Yes. I'm terrified. I've watched way too many movies with Will Smith in it. Um, <laughs> that's got to do with robots taking over the world. I'm pretty sure it was only the one <laughs> iRobot. Plus, I watched Atlas, J-Lo's new movie. Oh, I haven't seen that. Well, that's about AI as yeah. well. And I guess the, the running theme in all of this is that AI just gets too smart for us and starts eliminating us. Exactly. And I actually don't, honestly, I don't think we're that far from that. Like, I don't know if AI wouldn't like eliminate us mm. because then we just become what, like a robot nation? I, I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's a little bit scary. Yeah. And then I went down this, like, uh, just my own mind trip when I was thinking about AI. And I'm like, but what happens? Like, what's the point? Like, they, they're making them so lifelike now that eventually I, I've read about and I'll – come into our little facts later, but apparently now there is a, there's a couple, a bunch of robot citizens. What? They are robot citizens. They've been given like, like official, like you are a 
robot person. But which, oh, bless you, Bruce. Oh, Bruce the cat is here. Um, <laughs> But like citizens of which country? Well, I don't – look, I've got a few little facts in there and I read it very briefly, but I'm like, yeah. okay, so if we're at that point now where we're creating these machines, they look like us, we've given them citizenship to the world, what's then – like what happens? So weird. Do we then start dating robots Ew. in 100 years' time? Ew. Are we going to have these weird – I don't understand. Like it just I seems like know. such a slippery slope. See, and okay, so clarify, stupid question. When you're talking about AI today – Yes. Like are you talking about the actual – being like the machinery like the beings of ai or just even ai like for socials and computers and like all of it yeah okay, all, of, all it. of it yes because it's all I interconnected thought. right yes, yes yes it's just there's different levels so obviously yes. there's a type of ai that's like a g- good example of it i've got a, another little article that tells you like what's an everyday example of ai right like so like facial recognition mm-hmm. okay so when you open your phone the first thing yeah that's that's ai like, hey, Siri, who we just spoke to. No, it, she, it's not Whatever. Siri. Okay, she's also an AI person. Yeah. It-ish. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, okay. Okay, so here we go. The first robot citizen by Saudi Arabia, meet Sophia. So she's a citizen of Saudi Arabia. A humanoid robot. Hu- wow, well, let's start that again. A humanoid robot with artificial intelligence capable of interacting with people and displaying human-like expressions. So she became the first robot to receive legal personhood in any country in October 2017. Any country? Yep. And then in addition to Sophia, Hanson Robotics has created nine other humanoid robot siblings. So these are like So he has a little picture of Sophia. Like, yeah, yes. that look like a – see, that's So it's a, like a, it looks like a person. Yeah, so it is. It's like the movies. They're going to have more and more of these robot yes. people. Yes. That we fall in love with someone and then... That's what I'm saying. And then they're like, actually, I need to tell you something. Robot. I'm a robot. But then yeah. how do you have babies with these people? Well, you don't. These robot people. You, you don't. But you have... Like, then humanity is at an end. And it's just going to be run by robots. Terrifying. Okay. Um, more terrifying. Pets. AI pets could replace dogs and cats. Yeah, that's Because so many people would, right? Like, yeah. as if you wouldn't get a pet robot that you don't have to do anything for. It can live forever. <gasps> Oh, that's a good point. You don't have to clean after it. You don't have to feed it. Why don't you have to clean? It? Oh, because it doesn't What do you poo. mean? It doesn't shit yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you don't yeah. have to feed it. You don't have to do anything. It just yeah. stays with you forever. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Well, it's not. But like, what? again, what's the point? We're moving away from literally so, uh, humanity. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Because I'm just saying, like, honestly, I honestly think AI is going to probably take over in about two, three hundred years. We're done for. So enjoy your humanhood now, people. Two, three hundred years? Yeah, look, it could be. Totally. No, seriously. Anyway. You, your next pet could be AI. Or maybe not take over, but we would coexist. Yes, but right. I just have this, I don't know why I have this feeling, probably all those scary movies, yeah. that makes me think that it's going to turn out to be like an all-out war, war. where yeah. they want to take us out. And we're like, oh no, you've gotten too smart for us, but now we've built too many guns okay. into your arms. I d- <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like we don't have guns in our arms. We can't protect ourselves <laughs> from our home robots that suddenly turn on us. <laughs> Lindsay's definitely going to have a robot. <laughs> Okay, now this, going back to Lindsay's point originally, uh-huh. AI dates back to the early 1900s. Oh, like f- from a, just a normal robot? Well, like, uh, AI it? may seem like a recent development in yeah. technology, like yeah. Lindsay thinks, but it's not. Artificial intelligence has existed since the early 1900s, so it's not a new concept. Um, the biggest breakthroughs didn't happen until like the 1950s, okay. but like I think, you know, some stuff was around. Prior to that. There you go. Um, AI can predict death up to 90% accuracy. Oh, what? So wait. Oh. Uh, AI trained by Stanford's researchers can predict death with incredible accuracy and it could revolutionize end of life care. So these trained models aim to take to make sure patients and families have an accurate timeline of an individual's last months, weeks and days, allowing them to plan ahead. So I'm wondering if you have like a fatal thing or like you're a terminal cancer or something, it can be like, okay, well, this is how fast it's going to progress. This is how much time you've got, like based on their own body. And oh, how, I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. But it wouldn't just But like, I don't think this is an everyday thing right. either. It's not like I would pick up my phone and say, when am I going to die? I surely hope not. No, I don't want to. I don't that. want that. Yeah. yeah. No, Unless I just think it's, if you're already sick and in the hospital, there's some AI functions that are able to help you. Okay. Have ever noticed that AIs always have a splendid female voice? Oh, no, but it doesn't surprise me, especially if they sounded like me. Obviously, everybody would be turning off that (laughs) that Canadian squawk. Um, Yeah, so research shows that people tend to perceive female voices as more trustworthy and helpful. Uh, uh, That makes sense. Right, which is why so many AI voices are us ladies. Mm -hmm. 
Um, robot journalism may replace traditional journalism. That seems like a no-brainer. Yep. Um, AI shops for you. So all the algorithms that you see, all the ads and all that sort of stuff. Another example of AI. Um, AI is trying to read our emotions, which is the scary part. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that's scary. It's like, you're a robot. Why are you reading my emotions? I'm supposed to be feeling, you're supposed to be just like grabbing me stuff that I want from my kitchen when I don't want to get up. Like, don't <laughs> ask would, me about my emotions. I would never have one in my house. Like, I, like that's just weird. You say that, but you have a smartphone in your house. Yeah, that but that's is basically no, I'm talking already about a robot person. Like As if you robot. wouldn't have wouldn't. one of those. No, I have wouldn't. you ever seen? Um, what is that? Absolutely, um, the Robinson not. family, the Jetsons. Je yeah, yeah. Of course. Hello, I was born in seventy nine. So Jetsons. the Jetsons Hello. should be like a great example of how mm -hmm. AI can work really positively by being your maid in your house. No, would love that. Yeah. I don't need a maid. AI art. Oh, this is one I find really funny as well. Like people are now starting to create digital art. And there was one photo here. They said um, there's one uh, generative advertisal, no, whatever. They create somebody created a painting, basically, but it's not a painting. It's oh. an AI generated. I don't understand thing, what right? You're so it says created a painting that was so realistic it sold for a whopping f over four hundred thousand dollars. But was it a physical? painting that you could hang up on your wall i don't know what you mean but it wasn't a painting. i don't know oh. it just says that it's a s series of programs that generate original artwork so some sort of programs create artwork and it says here that whatever this was it says created a painting but it was so realistic so then what does that mean is it a painting or isn't it a painting i don't know is it well, just either way out? it went for a lot of money and did the person feel ripped off i don't know because i feel like i could just ask siri to draw me something <laughs> and you know what i'm saying Okay. Um, this one says that AI is creating jobs, not stealing. Depends. Depends. It like, depends. It says yeah. that 97 million new jobs will be created by 2025 due to AI technology. Um, but when they give a stat like that, I want to know like how and why, like give me more, like give me something to prove that. This doesn't, no, it doesn't really. No, it wouldn't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, totally. Yeah. Say Apparently it, it's, well, no, it just says it doesn't really give you the, it hints an existing shift. The future of work with AI seems to be one of partnership, not competition. Okay. So as in, I think because of AI, we are able to, I don't know how it's going to create jobs, but I think I we know. work together with it to make our lives easier. Duh, but still. I don't know who wrote this article, but I don't know if I, I agree with it. I don't know either. Yep. Um, what can we see? Oh, AI can see an earthquake coming. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. That all, as you that, fucking all should. What else are you yeah. doing? Seriously. Yeah. Like we made a you lot. for a reason. Apparently a lot. Um, this is a weird one. I'm not going to read it because it makes no sense. Oh. Well, it says here like AI's mysterious black box problem. Oh. So do we want to get into that no. for a second? No, yeah. it sounds exactly. No. It just sounds too deep and boring. Yeah. Um, the first ever AI chatbot mm -hmm. was Eliza from 1966. Oh. Cute, 1966. Right? What did they? What did Eliza yeah. like do? What were her, her capabilities? So the first chatbot Eliza was created in ninety six. Um, in sixty six. Sorry, Eliza could not engage in philosophical debates, Ooh. but it was a crucial step towards creating a machine that could mimic conversation. So unlike today's sophisticated AI, this early program relied on pattern recognition and keywords to respond to user input. So you can be like, hey, Liza. Like, what is it a weather type thing? Like yeah. same type of thing, yeah. Well, here, there's an example. Eliza, is something troubling you? No. You. Men are all alike. Eliza, what is the connection, do you suppose? <laughs> you. They, uh, they're they always bugging us about something or other. Eliza, can you think of a specific example? So she's oh, able to like to chat. chat back and forth. What's a chatbot? So, yes, for the lonely. Okay, so <laughs> Eliza kept some lonely people company. Yes. Um, AI is now um, assisting with surgery. That, again, duh, as she should be. Right. Like, okay. But it all just seems like it's heading down a path. Oh, it's no weird. return. And it's I totally. also think there's this massive part of me that thinks I'm so against all of it. Mm. Like, I remember, I want to be in a cult. Whereas, like, I just would like, love to be off the grid, living off the land, with my own people, yeah. rearing our own animals, you know. You're growing. rearing your animals? Rearing our own, like rearing. Oh, I thought you rearing. said wearing. I'm also like, that, oh. well, I'm on a farm and I'm sorry, but if I need a blanket and Sprinkles has kicked it because I had to eat her, I'm keeping her coat <gasps> for myself. I can't. I don't know what Sprinkles is, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? So like I, there's this massive part of me that thinks like I could ease, like I would want to live like that because it's this like purest life almost. But like, I could not survive without AI probably. Like the no, amount of stuff, yeah. like we're, we're yeah. about to go to a break, but like when we come back, we're going to talk about like how AI is in our everyday lives. Yeah. 
because we are using it literally every day. It, it, yeah, I, I think I need to start liking this wine and drink it. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Careful. Okay, where's your, oh, I'm like, where's your wine? I left it somewhere. AI, far, can far you away. bring it? Yeah, right? What was the um, Jetsons made? I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I She was know. amazing. So yeah. much fun. So much fun. <laughs> Would she was hang cool. out with her? I, will, I could, if I was lonely enough. Uh-huh. Imagine all the sex robots people would make. This, there must oh, be so sure. many sex robots out oh, there, totally. right? Like that's yeah. a good example of AI. Like yeah. if she can dirty talk to you while doing stuff to you at the same time, yeah. right? Imagine giving somebody a blowjob while talking to them. Women can't do that. AI could. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't so, want to know what you mean. So much no. stuff okay. that could be done. You're welcome. For whoever takes that idea oh and runs with it, okay. you're welcome. Hurry up and finish traumatizing us with these facts. Okay, um, you don't need to know what artificial intelligence is. We just talked about it. Maps and navigation, of course. I could never get anywhere without We've, Google. I think we talked about this we did. in one of our driving episodes. Like, we would have been hopeless back in the Revidex days. Oh, my God. We would never, we'd be lost right now. Literally, I would, I would still yeah. be searching around for Lindsay's house. <laughs> would be, I'd be driving and driving. And I'm like, I'm sure it looked like this. Uh, we would, would never. not have survived. You could never. Um... I've done it again. I used to do the pop thing all the time and then I stopped because it's terrible for your ears. I'm so sorry. I do apologize. My bad. Uh, facial detection and recognition, of course. We just talked about yes. how that's a huge part of everyday yeah. life. Um, text editors or autocorrect. Right. See, and these are all little things that you don't think of. That's like what I'm I would saying. Have, but is that AI or is that just technology? Well, apparently that's AI because I thought yeah. the same thing. I'm like, what's the where is the AI in yeah. this? Like, is that just... Because AI to me, I think of... Like, yeah. Well, it says, this is uh, another example yeah. of AI. Um, AI algorithms use machine learning, deep learning, and natural language processing to identify incorrect usage of language and suggest corrections yeah. in word processes, texting apps, and every other written mediums. Okay. So linguists and computer scientists work together to reach ma- machines grammar, just like you were taught in school. The algorithms are taught through high-quality language data so when you use a comma incorrectly, the editor will catch mm-hmm. it, which is so great because how many of us use oh, commas totally. incorrectly? Yeah, like right? those things. That, like yeah. I think certain AI things like that. Yeah, is that's great. Oh, it's totally. technology. Oh, right? Totally, it's moving with the times. It's right? true. It's like I don't know where to stop technology and yeah. AI starts. Like mm-hmm. I don't know where the line is because it's all so blended right now. Yeah. Like anyway. Um. Obviously, search and recommendation algorithms. So all your Instagram algorithms, yeah. Facebook, all of that sort of shit. AI. Again, like it, technology. Chatbots. Um, yeah. Those people, when you go to like Woolworths, for example, has a little chatbot called Olive. Oh. I know because I spoke to her recently oh, and I you? found it so cute. What like, did Olive help you with? She's a little Olive. Well, because I was changing phone plans from Woolworths to something else. Yeah. So I had to ask Olive about cancelling my thing. <gasps> oh, like on your phone, your chat thingy. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah like yes, one of those yes, like yes. live chats. Because they always you, start with bots. I thought you went in store. I'm like, I've never seen one in store. That's so weird, Lindsay. I know. Listen, pay attention. We're talking about chatbots. <laughs> I know, but you said Woolworths. So immediately I thought of this, like in the store. I'm like, oh, I've never seen. Yes, Woolworths. Olive. Her name is Olive. It's Very. adorable. And she's a little Olive. Yeah. I know. Very you, clever. Being a grocery store for those that don't know. <laughs> uh-huh. Digital assistants. I don't really know about mm. digital. Like what do they do? I don't know. I've heard of virtual assistants, but they're people. They help you digitally. So when we have our hands full, Lindsay, you might need a digital assistant. We often resort to ordering digital assistants to perform tasks on our behalf. Like what? Tell me more. When you are driving, you might ask the assistant to call your mum. Oh, that just yeah. Like, so that's like on your phone. That's, oh, this so is all Siri. Stuff. Oh, yeah. Siri. It's Siri, all you guys. All of this stuff is like technology that's like built in. Yes. But okay. that's yes. AI I still. I know. I know. Right? But like, to me, the, yes. You're going to okay. love this next okay. one because you would I, never I, have guessed. I don't know. Social media. <laughs> Again, technology. Gee. Using the support of AI to monitor content, suggest connections, and serve advertisements to targeted users. Yeah. So usual stuff that is not technology. It is, in fact, AI. Same thing. Artificial intelligence. But it's I get it. Like, it's not. Lindsay, stop confusing the people. She's mouthing same thing for you guys who can't hear. Oh, and e-payments. <gasps> oh, okay. Right? Don't know how that seems to be AI. Let's read yeah. about it. Um, Let's not. <laughs> 
Intelligent algorithms have made it possible to make deposits, transfer money, and even open accounts from anywhere, leveraging okay. AI for security, identity management, and privacy controls. So even, I guess, face recognition when you're unlocking yeah. your account and yeah. whatnot. Um, and just be on the lookout for more applications of AI in your everyday life, you guys. I don't um, want to. That's it. That's all I had in my article. Um, that's a riveting article. Thank you. Thank you. I'm I really enjoyed sharing that with you because so <laughs> I feel like you really took that on and um, – Really appreciated all these examples of AI I was giving you in everyday you mean life. Technology, uh-huh. right? which is AI. Parts of well, yes. that's it. I feel like it's so integrated now. Both of them. Yes, um, I'm going to take it in a, a darker turn. Let's do. Oh God, here we like go. Lindsay I always, with her goriness. Yes. Yeah, well, gory, but like scary because I'm such a worry wart and stuff. Yeah. You don't watch the news, so you may not have heard of this. Because I would become like her. Uh, Totally. True fact. Um, no. So on the news yesterday, yeah, the yesterday or the other morning, there was. A guy from a high school yeah. that used AI to take photos off of female students' Facebook pages that were just normal photos and morphed them, warped them, edited them, did whatever, yeah. AI'd them to make them appear that they had posed naked <gasps> and then like pew, them out into the world type thing. That is what scares me about Holy AI. Holy shit. Not yes. these normal everyday like yes. face recognition and stuff. I feel like AI and how it's progressing uh-huh. is so scary because there's so many creeps out in the world, out there in the world, that once they get their hands on this yes. stuff and they know how to use it. Like this is a teenage kid that did this. Terrifying. I actually heard because I only ever follow like pop culture. Yeah. Um, Megan Thee Stallion, one of a uh, American rapper singer, whatever, okay. um, was at a concert the other um, day, mm-hmm. and she broke down in tears over uh, during the concert. There was footage oh. of it, and it's because apparently there's a circulating video of her that's oh. like an AI based one that's like a sex tape of her, oh. but it's not her. See, same thing. And the thing is, uh, skeptics would be like, yeah, sure, it's not you. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. sure. The, how would she prove because it? Because they're so realistic now. That's what I'm saying. And that's such yeah. a deep, dark hole of the yeah. internet. That's what, and th- I mean, yes, it's scary that they're literally going to kill us off eventually and like take <laughs> over the planet. But also they can do so much nastier shit and like what we can do with yeah. AI. Like you can yeah. imagine the bad shit we do in the world right now without yeah. all this technology surrounding us. Yeah. With the help of the technology. There was a TikTok account that was going viral for a little while of Tom Cruise. Do you remember yeah. the guy who was using a Tom Cruise likeness? No. So it was they th- it was so realistic. It looked like Tom Cruise sitting at a cafe and just drinking coffee or whatever and it looked yeah. like he started a TikTok account. But oh. it was this guy that basically was like filming the stuff and then superimposed Tom Cruise's face on him on him. Right. So it looked like this really young gorgeous Tom Cruise doing his thing out and about and doing dances and stuff like that. Just random oh. stuff. It wasn't obviously Tom Cruise. But it was so realistic, yeah. Lindsay. Like if this I didn't know mm-hmm. what I knew, I'd be like, what yeah. the fuck's Tom Cruise doing on TikTok? That, what's what's yeah. a 25-year-old Tom Cruise doing on TikTok? Yeah. Like it was so ugh, and scary. And no, that's a good use of it because it was yes. funny and it was something yeah. cute. Even the photos that were taken at the Met of um, Katy Perry. I think it was, no, maybe Ooh, it wasn't Katy Perry. This. Who was it? There was a couple um, cheeky babes that had photos edited, ai right. whatever. And even the mom, I want to say Katy Perry. I don't know why that stuck in my head. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the mom of the chick messaged her saying, oh, look at your dress. Because the dress, it was like <gasps> this big forest dress. You didn't see that dress pop up on. I did, now yeah. that you say it. Yes. So that was AI. She's like, mom, you're falling for it like everyone else. That's I wasn't not me. There. That's yes. right. So like, it's so realistic that even a mother of the yes. person was like, oh, your dress is so beautiful. And so can like, you imagine what the deep dark web is doing? I know. Oh, now, see, now I wasn't thinking about this at all. I was just going to keep it surface level and fun, but this is deep and scary. It always goes deep and scary in my brain. <sighs> Not like, eh, face recognition. Eh. Just trying to share some information. <laughs> and obviously, <laughs> that information has now gone down a deep, dark hole. <laughs> you know me, I like deep, dark holes. I like tragedy and like the scariness. But you're right. Well, the scariest part about what you're saying is that you're absolutely yes. right. I mean, if anybody has some sort of AI sex tape out there for us, I'd love to see it. I just want to see what I'd look like as an AI bot. But you know what? The worst part of that is they'll probably make me like fugly as. No, you would look exactly like you. But what not you for mean? AI. They could do anything to me. You know what I mean? They can put me on a really yeah. unattractive person with it's, a beautiful face because it's mine. They, <laughs> they could. But this is the thing. Like we wouldn't be able to tell. If it, if they want to make you look like you, I'd be like, oh, Bill, I saw your tape over the weekend. Go girl. I'm just getting these ideas of how I can surprise Henry for his 40th and maybe make myself <laughs> right? like an AI sex tape or something. 
where I could just improve everything, lift a few things up, smooth a few things out. I think he would know the <gasps> difference. He may not. I, he I, may just be like so loved up about my present to him. Be like, babe, you, I, and I'd be like, babe, I worked out so hard for this. <laughs> and then did it with you also uh-huh. because you're in the tape and you weren't That there was my t- next yeah. point. Like he probably would remember not being part of that tape. Maybe I'd be by myself. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided. I've just thought it up just then. So... <laughs> Stay tuned. I was going to say, stay tuned for, to hear how this goes. Um, look, this wine oh. isn't getting any better. This topic is definitely not getting any better. So, rapidly wrap. Hit that button. Okay. Sorry. AI, oh. can you hit the button? Oh, no, she can't. Rody, can yeah. you hit the button? No, not no. yet. No. Not yet. Okay. Good One day. Thank you for joining us for this latest episode of Wine Chats Podcast with Bill Dillon and Dillon. You can find us on our socials on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And you can listen to us on any favorite podcasting app or watch on YouTube. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, review, comment, send us some love. We absolutely love it. Chat soon. Come on, Lenny. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. Come on. Okay, we'll add in chat soon at the end. Yeah. Both of us? Yeah, go okay. on. Chat soon.